ओम शांति टुडे इज द ट्वेंटी एट ऑफ जुलाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू लेट एस लेसन टू द साकार मुरली ऑफ आर बिलवेड बाप दादा बाप दादा मधुबन एसेंस ऑफ टूडे इज मुरली स्वीट चिल्ड्रन यू मस्ट नेवर बिकम टायर्ड ऑफ स्टडिंग बी टायरलेस टू बी टायरलेस मीन्स टू रीच द कर्मातीत स्टेज एसेंस वंस अगेन स्वीट चिल्ड्रन यू मस्ट नेवर बिकम टायर्ड ऑफ स्टडिंग बी टायरलेस टू बी टायरलेस मीन्स टू रीच द कर्मातीत स्टेज टूडे वी हैव टू क्वेश्चन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट हैव यू चिल्ड्रन प्रोमिस्ड एंड वाई इन आंसर बाबा सेज यू हैव प्रोमिस्ड आई विल नेवर कॉज सॉरो फॉर एनी वन आई विल शो एवरी वन द पाथ टू हैप्पीनेस द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच चिल्ड्रन आर सस्टेन्ड बाय द यज्ञ इन आंसर बाबा सेज दोज हु कंसिडर दैमसेल्व टू बी ट्रस्टीज दैट इज दोज हु कंप्लीटली सरेंडर दैमसेल्व फ्रॉम देयर हार्ट्स दे स्टे इन अ हाउस होल्ड दे कैरी ऑन विद देयर बिजनेस बट आर ट्रस्टीज देन इट इज एज दो दे ईट फ्रॉम शिव बाबाज स्टोर टूडे सॉन्ग यू आर द मदर एंड द फादर ओम शांति The children found the father and they say from their experience that definitely no one else can change them from thorns into flowers Bharat was a land of angels that is land of divine flowers it has now become a forest of thorns what you children hear now are elevated versions it is the highest on high father who speaks them to you everything about him is elevated he is the most elevated ocean of happiness the most elevated ocean of knowledge and the most elevated ocean of peace you children now understand very well that all souls were previously thorns in every respect you used to cause sorrow for one another through every sense organ you now promise that you will not cause sorrow for anyone through your sense organs just as the father is the remover of sorrow and the bestower of happiness so you children must also become the same you must not cause sorrow for anyone you must show everyone the path to the land of happiness whose instructions are all of these brahma kumars and kumaris following they are following shrimat that is elevated instructions the instructions of brahma are remembered in fact people call all of them gurus they even say guru brahma guru vishnu however a guru cannot be called god they are called deities they cannot be called the mother and the father either baba has explained that you receive an inheritance of temporary happiness from your lokic mother and father even though they receive that they remember the parlokic mother and father they do not remember brahma vishnu or shankar they cannot be called the mother and father they are residents of the subtle region people say to them salutations to the deity brahma and the deity vishnu none of these children can call anyone else their mother and father even in heaven not everyone calls lakshmi and narayan their mother and father it is sung of the parlokic mother and father you are our mother and father we are all your children mostly they ask for blessings or for mercy you children now understand how the unlimited father gives blessings that is how he has mercy he does not say may you have a long life span or may you have a long life the father comes and teaches easy rajyog and knowledge many on the path of devotion give blessings and mercy to one another no one except the supreme father can have very beneficial vision vision of mercy it is not that by having a vision one can become a deity no this here is a school one studies in a school you now know that the incorporeal one has entered this corporeal body here there is a mother a father and the grandfather and so this is a family this is a godly family such a huge school has to be a little distance away from the town here too we are so far from the town there is so much silence because we want peace we have to return to the land of peace you now understand what is known as the land of peace 
A soul is an embodiment of peace. One cannot say that the mind wants peace, for the mind and the intellect are in the soul. The soul is separate from the body. The nose and the ears etc. do not need peace. The soul needs peace. A whole part is recorded in each soul and it emerges when that soul receives a body. His entire play is recorded in that soul. Such a tiny soul is filled with such a huge part. When he receives a body, he plays his part. You now understand this. The souls of the deity religion definitely have parts of 84 births recorded in them. You now understand this as well. You will not understand it in the golden age. It is only at this time that it is said, this invaluable life like a diamond, because you have now become godly children. You say Mama and Baba. In ignorance, you used to sing, you are our mother and father. You didn't even know whose praise that was. You are claiming the inheritance of unlimited happiness in a practical way. You now understand that while studying the scriptures for birth after birth, you continued to descend. That too is fixed in the drama. You have to perform devotion. Neither will devotion change nor will the knowledge change. There is a lot of paraphernalia of devotion. There are countless Vedas and scriptures. If you were to make a list, it would be quite a long one. People do so many things in the world. There are so many gatherings etc. The father now says, Children, you have become tired by doing devotion for half a cycle. There is no question of getting tired in this study. In fact, there is even more happiness because there is an income here. When you are earning an income, there should be no drowsiness or yawning. Laziness comes when dharana is weak and there is no recognition of the value of knowledge. There is a lot of income to be earned by staying in remembrance of the father. You must not get tired in this. The conscience says that you must definitely be tireless. While making effort, you must become tireless, which means that you attain your karmatid stage. It now depends on the efforts you make. The rosary is so small, many subjects will be created. The father continues to inspire you to make effort. He says, follow the mother and the father. There are countless children. You are adopted children of Prajapita Brahma. You are not adopted children of Shiv Baba. You souls are already the children of Shiv Baba. You also used to speak of Shiv Baba in ignorance. But no one knows who Shiv Baba or what his part is. Shiv Baba says, My part is also fixed in the drama. It is not that I can do whatever I want. Whatever my part is in the drama, that will be played. There is no question of asking for blessings or mercy. The father knows how to sustain the children, which is with knowledge and yoga. Your sustenance is knowledge and yoga. I am called Baba because I am the creator. Surely they would call me Baba. Even when people have lokic parents, they remember the parlokic mother and father. You now understand that the parlokic mother and father has come and is teaching us Raj Yoga. Yes, everyone has to work for the livelihood of his body. It has also been explained to you about the precautions you need to take. Although you must not eat anything impure, you have to live in households. You have surrendered yourselves to Baba. Have the consciousness. Baba, all of this is yours. When you move along while considering everything as belonging to Baba, then whatever you eat is from the Yajna. We are trustees. We eat from the Yajna and that is Satoguni. If you are not surrendered and do not consider yourself to be a trustee, then that food is not from the Yajna. First of all, consider yourself to be a trustee. People even say that God gives everyone everything. They worship the deities thinking that they will receive things from them or from the gurus. Although they think in this way, it is only the one father who provides for everyone. He is the one bestower for all. On the path of devotion, they all ensure themselves with God. They think that they will receive the return of it in their next birth. You also ensure everything with Baba. You receive these teachings for your next birth. You receive the fruit of good actions. People surrender to God 
to surrender to god means to insure yourself this is indirect insurance whereas this is direct insurance people do not know the supreme father the supreme soul and so they cannot surrender everything to him here you surrender everything to him the father says consider yourselves to be trustees have the consciousness that you are eating from shiv baba's yagya you must take care of everything tamoguni that is impure bhog cannot be offered people offer pure bhog in temples only vaishnavs that is those with a pure diet offer bhog all are vicious how can there be a viceless elevated body here lakshmi and narayan have elevated bodies those who indulge in vice are said to be degraded you children now understand that you are sitting in front of the mother and father the one to whom you have been calling out for half a cycle those who perform devotion for half a cycle will come here they do intense devotion you children must take up knowledge very intensely don't be content with just a little so many points are given in order for you to explain the old women cannot understand as much baba says to them simply ask others whether they have the introduction of the parlokic father tell them remember that father you are devotees and he is god god speaks if you remember me you will come to my land of liberation whereas krishna would say you will come to my world of paradise first of all you have to go to the land of nirvana and so you must definitely remember the incorporeal father krishna is a bodily being to remember him means to remember a perishable body of the five elements that is the path of devotion you children now understand about the expansion of devotion you receive the inheritance of heaven through this knowledge in a second after the day comes the night and after the night it is the day devotion is the night in which people stumble that is why the expression of it being the dark night is used people also know about the day of brahma and the night of brahma why do they not say this for vishnu only you brahmins receive this knowledge at this time for this is why brahma is remembered brahma is the one who knows the day and the night brahma knows that the night is now over and that the day is about to begin it is the day and night of brahmins these things have to be understood vishnu would not speak about his day and night however you can say we claim an elevated reward by studying this knowledge and this knowledge then disappears those scriptures are fixed in the drama those same scriptures will be created again it is said that they have continued since the beginning of time it is not that the scriptures will emerge from the earth the father comes and speaks the truth the same paraphernalia of the path of devotion will emerge again remind the old mothers as well the highest on high shiv baba lives in the supreme region where souls reside that is the highest place the soul world where brahma vishnu and shankar are in the subtle region after that if you come down to the corporeal region the kingdom of lakshmi and narayan come first that is the new creation which the father is creating he is purifying the impure people even say o purifier come surely the entire world at this time must therefore be of those who are impure he comes and purifies those souls he comes and purifies those people those who make effort will go to the pure world the main thing is to remember your father and the home tell everyone O oh souls you now have to return home you souls will be taken back home everybody's body will be finished in terms of souls all are brothers and in terms of bodies all are brothers and sisters these are very sweet things you are sitting here in a hostel you are the residents of this place students live in a hostel so that they do not become influenced by bad company outside here you have the company of viceless ones acha Today is the day for Brahma Bhojan. Shiv Baba does not eat. He is abhokta, beyond physical experience. Deities like the food of Brahmins because they become deities through the food of Brahmins. 
so the food of brahmins has such great importance food has so much effect if you take food cooked by strong yogis your intellects become very good yogis are needed to stay in remembrance of shiv baba throughout the day who spin the discus and prepare food at the same time many remain pure a widow a mother or a kumari may be pure but she should also be yogi there would be great progress for you if you were to eat food prepared by yogis five to seven such yogi children are needed who can prepare food by staying in remembrance this will make your stage very good you will receive a lot of help in yoga acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bap dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and we the spiritual children also say namaste to our spiritual father essence for dharna two points the first point follow the mother and father and sustain everyone with knowledge and yog sustain yourself with this sustenance become intense in knowledge and yog the second point eat food prepared by those who are pure and yogi in order to purify your intellect take great precautions about your diet blessing may you become a master of all treasures and an instrument for world transformation through your self transformation blessing once again may you become a master of all treasures and an instrument for world transformation through your self transformation baba explains this by saying your slogan is do not look for revenge badla but demonstrate world transformation through self transformation by changing badal yourself some children think if this is put right i will be fine if this system is sorted out then i will be fine if you calm down the one who is getting angry i will also calm down put aside the one who is creating conflict and the center will be fine to think in this way is wrong first of all change yourself and then the world will change for this become a master of all treasures and use each treasure at the right time today's slogan let the light of all powers be constantly with you and maya will run away from a distance slogan once again let the light of all powers be constantly with you and maya will run away from a distance cha om shanti